Kate Middleton's dad collapses in ambulance was rushing to hospital for something terrible. Kate Middleton's current situation continues to generate all kinds of speculation and rumors in the UK. The latest gossip in the British country has to do with an alleged call from Meghan Markle to her sister-in-law, Prince William's wife. Curiously, there are several versions of all this, but all agree that there has finally been a call in pursuit of reconciliation. The secrecy with which all her illness and recovery is being handled in the end serves to give rise to countless assumptions that could lead us to believe that the events are not going to develop as the British royal house would have us believe. And among these assumptions is that Kate Middleton's recovery will be extended beyond Easter, which was initially and unwisely the time officially planned for her return to public activity. Practically nothing is known about how the convalescence is going beyond the rumors surrounding the two brothers, William and Harry. The wife of the heir to the crown in principle seems to be adequate, and this is the last thing that Prince William implied at the BAFTA Awards. In any case, it is true that Prince William's own state of health has also been the subject of criticism in the United Kingdom. And according to what has been said in the whirlwind trip that Harry made, he would have offered to resume the duties of the royal agenda and be able to count on a member, perhaps not full-time, but part-time. This would cover a little of the leave of his father Charles, and to some extent also that of Kate Middleton. What some British tabloids are saying is that both father and son have opposed Harry's reinstatement as a member of the royal family, even if it is only part-time. In any case, the talk of the UK as we say today would be about a phone call from Meghan Markle to Kate Middleton. This has been what has been published by American media, very close to Meghan in this regard, that tell that in the midst of the difficult situation that the British family is going through due to the illness of King Charles and the recent operation of Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle would be trying to reconnect with the crown in which she moved away in 2020 after leaving her royal royal duties and moving to California with her husband, Prince Harry, who a few weeks ago traveled to the United Kingdom to meet with his father. Sponsor the channel author to see even more exclusive news. As reported by this source, they say that Meghan Markle would have contacted both Kate Middleton and King Charles III with the aim of sending her their good wishes for her speedy recovery. This with the intention of having a new rapprochement with the members of the family. To me, of course, this would seem to be the most normal thing to do, even though there is a dispute between the brothers and sisters-in-law. Because when there are health issues, you have to row in favor of the work. And, well, I think that, in the end, these are human reactions. The story continues because, as I say, all the media agree on that call, but the versions dance a little. This one tells us that the former actress would have phoned Kate to ask about her state of health after the mysterious operation she underwent in January. Meghan makes the first move towards reconciliation with Kate after their disagreement. According to this source, Kate would have welcomed this gesture and would be willing to forget the past to give rise to a reconciliation. This news comes as Meghan and Prince Harry finish their trip to Canada for an entertainment event of the Invictus One Year to Go Games, a trip they made a day after announcing their new website and Meghan Markle's podcast, which will be under new production. Well, this is a very sweet end version. Kate welcomes all this, but here as I say, things happen. One of them is that when Harry travels to the UK, there is no meeting with his brother. From there, it is leaked that William does not want his brother or Meghan to know anything and leak it in the US. What do they have to hide about Meghan Markle's health? Well, so far they have not said the word, but if they have said their courtiers want to keep Meghan's privacy. Is there something beyond a physical pain? Is there a mental issue? Let's take a look at the other version we're getting about this Meghan Markle call. Well, this other version says that sources close to the couple assured Page Six that Harry would be willing to resume his royal duties only if his father asks for help, which would indicate a possible change in the radical stance of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The road to Harry and Meghan's emancipation from the crown we already know started in early 2020. In fact, thanks to Harry's book, we can understand more details of how it all came about.
They announced their desire to achieve financial independence and not be so dependent on the crown or the taxes of UK citizens. This is also important because Harry also defends the monarchy, because in the United Kingdom, everything that has to do with the British royal house attracts a lot of tourism. He says, although Queen Elizabeth showed some empathy to his intention to forge a new life as a young couple, the formal process of his disengagement from the royal family took more than a year to materialize, until February 19, 2021, when the official announcement of his departure from the firm was made. There in the United Kingdom, this has a name they call it the Mexit in a clear reference to the Brexit, that breakup of the United Kingdom with the European Union, as in this case to the breakup of Harry and Meghan with the rest of the British royals. He says although Meghan and Harry have had brief encounters with the royal family in recent years, as their attendance at the funeral of the Queen in 2022 and the coronation of Charles, recent events have raised speculation about a possible return of the couple to the bosom of the monarchy, in particular the sudden trip of Harry to visit Charles, of which we already spoke apparently motivated by the diagnosis of cancer of the King has fueled such speculation. An anonymous tipster, on the other hand, in the midst of all this uncertainty reveals the version we said before. Meghan contacts Kate Middleton and Charles Hinting at a move for a reconciliation. However, they say that Kate Middleton is open to reconcile, but with Harry, with Meghan, she wants absolutely nothing. This source, well, I quote, unnamed source quoted by the U.S. Weekly, a U.S. Weekly, and uses the same terms but qualifies this separation. He says this is because the Princess of Wales still has some hurt feelings about what Meghan did and so has chosen not to respond to calls or messages, especially now that she is recovering from the famous abdominal surgery of a mysterious nature. They also say that it seems that Kate Middleton has no intention of reconciling with someone who has damaged her image and that of the crown for the past four years. Not only does she not forgive the offenses, but she also does not forget Meghan's words. And despite the past tensions, some suggest that Kate Middleton would be open to do the basics with Harry if her husband William so wished. However, for now, she prefers to stay on the sidelines and trust that the situation will be resolved in time. Well, I have to say that to me, this latest version that Kate Middleton is pouting and does not want any kind of deal with Meghan, but with Harry sounds a bit like typical British tabloid courtesies. That is, first I believe that call, that is, all versions agree that there has been a call and this leaves Meghan Markle well. For some British newspapers, this is practically not allowed, so they have to give another version. Then, that Kate wants to reconcile with Harry. I see it also coherent, but that already that not with Meghan sounds a little more strange to me. First, because Harry has it clear, it goes in him and his wife goes, this, that he goes, and that is part of the family, but his wife does not. I honestly do not see it clear at all. Secondly, I think that more than Kate Middleton, the one who could have the reins of all this is the prince. Curiously, I think that both William and Charles III have opposed Harry's return. Because, no, because look what you did, the scandal that you made by leaving here through the media and so on, I think it would not go in that direction, me personally. William is giving all kinds of theories about him, about his marital life with Kate, if he has given her a certain bad life, if he has been unfaithful, if he has some addiction that Kate is tired of, or if she has practically gone crazy, to me it seems a lot of exaggerations. And if we go a little bit to the normal and within everything I take from Harry's biography, that within his status as a royal personage, he has a point of normality and to put his feet on the ground and above all, well, the book was written by him, but I do understand that this guy is not a bad person, and I think that his brother and his father are not bad either, despite everything they have done. I am a little bit in favor of the fraternal union in this sense, and I wish that this call would happen, and I am not saying that Harry and Meghan have to go back to the duties of the British royal house. If they want to make their own life, they can do it. That is not a bad thing, but above all, I think that within all this, Harry and Meghan have to go back to the duties of the British royal house. If they want to make their own life, they can do it.
I am not saying that Harry and Meghan will have to return to their duties in the British royal household. If they want to do their lives, they can do it. But above all, it is good that within all this matter, they live in harmony and more in these difficult times that they have to live. And hey, another fact, how many things suddenly Middleton does in the midst of his mysterious illness, not with all the circulations that there are. I think it is significant. Opinions in comments. Subscribe to the channel and more videos here and in the secondary channel. Thanks for being there.